This is really, really cool because catching animal poachers in the act is the biggest obstacle that stands in the way of proper arrest and prosecution of those who are brutally killing endangered species for profit. But what if in order to protect, let's say, rhinos, for example, from these poachers, we create a 24-7 real-time monitoring device that keeps rhinos connected directly with the teams protecting them? Well, a non-profit named Protect has created just that, and it's called Protect Rapid for real-time anti-poaching intelligence device, Margaret. And this is really, really exciting because finally they'll have this system where we can catch the poachers on the act. It's gonna, what, it, what it happens is they connect a heart sensor with a GPS device and a camera in the horn of the rhinos. So it's, it's in a standby and the moment that the heartbeat goes faster, it activates, sends a GPS ping to these teams, the camera turns on and it starts taking video of the situation to prevent them deploying all this operation uh, for a false alarm. But the reality is that now we might have an edge on the poachers. And you can also see the face of the poacher doing, you know, committing the crime against the rhino and you all of a sudden have a perp when before that was harder to prove. This is an excellent, excellent concept that they've done. The Humane Society International is of course funding this project and um, you know it's because of organizations like this that these animals can live on the earth and we don't see a rhino extinction issue. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, it's amazing. It was invented by the British scientist Paul O'Donoghue and he has been working for 15 years trying to protect the rhinos from this. They are trying to use this uh, operation with rhinos to maybe develop it to protect other species like, like elephants, elephants, tigers, even birds of prey that are on their, on, in danger. Uh, this is really, really important because just with the rhino population in South Africa, almost 1,200 rhinos were killed last year. Mm. And the population is diminishing really, really quickly. Um, We've seen the, the ivory crush that we had in New York not too long ago. There's been awareness around the world, but the reality is since we can't catch the poachers on the act, most of the time this, these teams arrive to the carcass maybe a week after the poachers did what they done. Uh, this is really, really important moving forward. We want to know how you feel about this incredible uh, synergy of technologies trying to protect the endangered species. Let us know. Write your comments below and please subscribe to the Lib TV too.